someone tried to scam me. I am going to take that money. sort of program at my home mm. so I'm here to see a friend and my other friend said they are coming over we have to do some things so yeah when we are done we we'll go to our house and I will go to Kumase tomorrow which is Thursday but anyways I feel like I'm looking cheap Let's move from there, okay? Are they doing operation here or what? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Go home. 
rant about what happened today and tomorrow. I'm too tired to talk, but I'm annoyed. Mm. Leo Pooch. Okay, hello guys. Today is Sunday. I know I've not vlogged since Thursday because I've not done anything. I got back and I was so tired. I've rested on Friday and Saturday. I still feel like I need to rest. But I'll do that like as the as next week goes on. So I told you guys I was going to rant here. So I'm going to rant. Okay, so about my rant. I was supposed to come to Kumasi on Thursday. My flight was at 10 a.m. Yes. And I don't know. I have this weird feeling that I might miss my flight and whatever. So whenever I have a flight, I wake up like hours before the flight. I'm supposed to get there 40 minutes for check-in. 40 minutes before the flight for check-in. But I wake up like hours before the flight and this one was at 10 a.m. I booked this so early because I wanted to come home. I was just tired. And <laughs> when I woke up like 5, 5-ish, five there, there was noise at the place I was staying. Like people were making noise. So I just woke up and I couldn't go back to bed. So I took my bath. I finished packing. I didn't pack anything. I didn't pack my stuff the night before. So I packed my stuff and like around 6 30 ish i was done with everything done bathing so all i had to do was lay my edges get dressed and just set off you get now at exactly 7 a.m if i find a message i'll leave it on the screen somewhere i got a message from my airline that the flight has been cancelled i was like ah what the what the f how can you cancel my flight on the day I am going? Like, I'm supposed to go at 10 a.m. And they are telling me at 7. What am I supposed to do? So I quickly called their helpline. And the lady was like, yeah, due to unforeseen circumstances, they've canceled the flight. It's not just my flights, but two other flights. I was like, so right now, what am I supposed to do? Because I'm supposed to go to Kumasi today. I have to go today. I'm tired. I'm going to my house today. And she was like, I should... Um, re I should ask them if they can reschedule anytime later in the day they can reschedule it for me and she was like for the flight for Thursdays like the flight for Thursday is full Friday is full and the only slot available was Saturday and I was like no I have to come back to Kumasi on Thursday so they should refund my money to me I can use a different airline like I can just book a different airline you get so they should give me my they should send my money back to me and they're like i have to send an email blah 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 and it will take five to six working days before i get my refund and this is some impromptu shit i can't just call my parents and be like yo they've cancelled the flight send me another 400 and 100 series to book another flight am i mad so i i called i called my mother i was so devastated i called my mother and she was like, let me check if I can, like, stay till Saturday, you get, so that we reschedule it to Saturday. And we called my dad, and he was like, no, I said I'm coming to Kumasi today. So, it's not like the flight is the only option. So, let me pick a bus. So, he will send me the money. And I felt so bad because I can't just be draining them off money like that. Like, it's not planned. We don't, I don't like impromptu things. I like to plan my stuff out, you get. So I don't like impromptu shit that I have to like just because money is like really hard to come by of late and my dad had to send me money for me to pick the bus and you see I wasn't planning on picking the bus so I did not get enough sleep for the flight it would just take 40 minutes so if I even if I woke up at 5 it, I still won't be affected I'll get to come as like let's say 10 40 it is like 11 11 30 ish i'll be in my house i'll go back to bed but unfortunately i'm going to pick the bus so i quickly ran things up left and headed to circle to pick a bus when i got there someone tried to scam me he took my bag my luggage and i was like he's helping me out so i was like i can't leave my luggage to him so I, like i'm keeping an eye on him and he's like oh he knows where they will book the tickets and i'm like no i am going to the office to book the tickets because i was told to pick 28 seats um bus or something 
yes my father was like that one is more comfortable because i'm tired so i should pick that one so i was like i'm going to the office to go and pick the bus and this guy's like no i was like no he shouldn't do that and i think i don't know you know we were struggling for my bag and just tore one handle of my bag with the other so it was left with just one bag yes I, i'll try and take a picture and set it. i don't know so i went to the office booked my ticket um, with my booked my ticket went to sit in the bus and the journey began like um 10 30 ish and guys this has been my longest journey ever i was freaking tired because i did not sleep mind you the 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 night before i slept like 1 a.m and woke up at five so four hours sleep and you see it's not comfortable to sit and sleep like we get so my back was hurting my butt my butt my buttocks my buttocks was hurting my back was hurting my neck like every part of my body was hurting i was just hurting in the bus and i was so annoyed because i wanted to pee too and this driver is not allowing me to get down to pee i was so irritated but i had no option so i got to Kumasi like four day my mother came to pick me up and we got home and i've been resting since then i just wanted to run because they disappointed me they disappointed me and that is very bad you're not supposed to disappoint a person like that and i've still not gotten my refund i am going to take that money i need that money even though i won't get the money but i still need it a chip of it but then guys this is where i'm ending the vlog you get so make sure you like comment share and subscribe i'll see you in my next video okay so i wanted before i end this i wanted to do this um video documentary i wanted to do this documentary ish type of thing on um, my either instagram or youtube about body shaming it's a very good idea but at the space that i'm in right now i don't think it would be possible for me to be talking about body shaming like body like so when things get a little bit better the videos that i've gotten so far i would do the i would edit and do the documentary i will do it not right now but i will do it because right now i'm just not in the space to do it i was really in the mood like i was feeling it i was feeling the vibe to do it so if you still if you still want to take part you can do a video about how your body would this kid shut up you can do a video talking about how your body has affected you positively and negatively like describe your body what you love about your body how people body shame you how it has affected you in both ways positive and negative to be precise you get so when things get better i am going to edit the video and upload the documentary either on my youtube channel or on instagram so make sure you follow me on my instagram my snapchat my tiktok and my twitter make sure you like comment share and subscribe and if you want me to do any type of video for you leave it in the comment section down below i am here for you i'm ready to do anything you want okay not everything but anything you want that will bring entertainment to you okay guys so we hit 500 subscribers currently is 503 subscribers um i think yesterday and i am so excited and i'm so glad i'm so happy excited i'm overwhelmed and i'm very thankful to everyone who has subscribed like 500 people i don't know all of you do i i do not know all of you so i just want to say a big thank you to each and every person at first it was the people that i knew but now i don't know all of you welcome to the family if you're a new subscriber you can leave your comment section down below to be welcomed proper proper into this family make sure you stick and stay and you share this channel to your friends so that they can also come and join us and i'll see you in my next video bye